Hello and welcome to Backpage Champions League Special. I'm John James and with me here today are two men who've seen their fair share of balls. Danny Devlin. How are you? And Simon Sayers. Yes. So Danny, this big occasion, who was the better team? Well, you know, I would say out of the, out of the two teams today, you know, they, they both kind of, they both look hungry. Uh, but huh? I, I, I would say that, to be honest, Bayern Munich looked hungrier of the two, you know, they look starving uh, to me, I, I, I thought, and uh, I would say maybe Chelsea's problem was the et, I think, before the match, and, you know, that, that, that looked like it was a problem because they did not look as hungry as perhaps they should have been, certainly not as hungry as Bayern were. Right, but Chelsea won. Lads... What's the big talking points of the first well, half? Well, for me, a big talking point in the first half uh, clearly was the the yellow card for uh, Schweinsteiger. Oh, uh, you yeah. know, and it's proven that it's getting harder and harder to make the hand pass in the modern game because it's under so much scrutiny from referees. Are you doing the Are you doing the pass right? Are you doing it wrong? And I think we've seen the the hand pass almost completely go out of the game. Aye. Well, and we haven't seen it, you know, since the likes of the masters of the hand pass, such as Terry Henry. Oh, aye. Who clearly was, you know, one of the best in in the game a, a hand pass. Of course, the, the the master of of the hand pass was, of course, uh, Diego Maradona, and we'll never forget that wonderful goal he scored against England. <laughs> <laughs> the bastard! <laughs> he scored a goal with his hand against England. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Danny Chelsea defended well throughout the game. But was there a hint of inaccuracy about Bayern's play? No, you're you're right. You know, there, there was there was a lot of shots that that uh, went wide. You know, in that first half, both from Chelsea and Bayern, a lot of opportunities missed. But never both men going wide. There was a lot of a lot of shots that went over the bar, uh, and the umpire did not raise his flag once. Now, and I think you know this is it's been called for for a long time, and we need over the bar technology. And I think, you know, it's it's about time in the modern game that we had, you know, if even just an umpire stand on the bar. Boys, what did you make of the offside goal? Uh, robberies, uh, disallowed goal. And I, I don't know about you, lad, but, you know, it was clearly a square ball. Really? Eh? Or definitely square ball, you know. So, boys, Bayern's goal, can you talk me through it? But the goal itself, you know, I thought it was a great header by Muller. You know, he, he got up well, the header it down. And, you know, I thought, though, maybe Czech could have done better. You know, Czech's a big man. And uh, I think he he was he didn't make himself as big as he could have done, you know. Uh, I think he only went to 109 percent of his size, and I think we demand to have him to go to 110 percent of his size on, on an occasion like that, you know. And there's certainly no point if you're being a goalkeeper only staying at 100 percent, because when the ball comes at you, you need to expand to 110 percent. Yeah. Jesus. But Chelsea didn't let their heads go down after the Bayern goal, you know, and and, and they showed that they're, they're a resilient team that can dig deep when they want to, you know, and they certainly dug deep. They dug very, very deep. Uh, and Didier Drogba, for me, is one of the best diggers in, in the game. And, you know, he, he got his hands dirty and dug. That's why I think he's lying down a lot of the time, because he's digging with those hands of his, you know. Hey. Uh, and, he, and that can be one of his, his faults. But... One of his strengths is certainly his ability to dig deep, and he dug deep for Chelsea today. Quality player, big, hmm. great header. He's well header of a man. <laughs> Boys, so to the extra time, what did you make? And then, well, well, extra time, you know, I think was it, it was a different game altogether. Um, I think you, you, they were playing at one hundred and seven percent, one hundred and six percent, some of them, and uh, you know there was then the the, the penalty decision then. Was, oh, hey. Okay. And uh, Drogba took him down, and uh, it, it was up to uh, ex Chelsea player uh, Robin. Oh, eh, uh, eh. Uh. And he made a complete balls of it. So, boys, the penalties then. What did he make of the penalties? To be fair, lads, now, I think I think they were greedy going for, uh, for, for, for the goals and the penalties now. I thought, you know, I, I put a few over the bar. Be sure of your points. Oh, Be sure uh, of your points. That's any any manager at club level or championship will tell you. Put it over the bar. Make your points. But they got a bit greedy. 
but the crucial miss then came from uh, Schweinsteiger, you know, and I think that y yellow the yellow card that he got for for the for the, the foul uh, hand pass uh, really played on his mind, you know. But I will tell you an interesting story, you know, um, a, a friend of mine from down uh, down by uh, Gotta Hark, he was he was working over in a over in a, a factory over in uh, Germany back in the in the nineties. And uh, he he says to me that people used to call him Schweinsteiger all the time. Aye. 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 Apparently it's German for pig fucker. Jesus. Aye. Is it? And the coolest man on the park stepped up to take the last penalty. Danny, can you talk me through Drogba's penalty? Well, it all came down to the big man, uh, Drogba, in the end. And he's the man that you want in that pressure oh, situation, aye. is Drogba. Because I'll tell you what the thing about Drogba is. He gives 110%. Right. He's hungry. All right. And he can dig deep. All right. All right. You know, and that was the, the, they're the key ingredients All right. to any All right. game. All right. Hunger. All right. Dig deep. All right. 110. All right. And he was starving. All right. And he While dug hungry deep. for it. He was starving. Hungry. While hungry for it. And he did the crucial thing at the crucial time. Put the ball in the fucking net. Tomorrow's back pages today. Danny? Oh, we have a, a headline here from Donegal Dollop. It didn't matter on the night, referring to Juan Mata's penalty miss, because it didn't oh, matter right, on the right, night. Right, right, right. They did there. Um, right. In the Lair Kenny Swilly, we have the only dragon done it. As in. <laughs> dragon. Jeez, that's a good one. Uh, and the Donegal Cloud says, Daylight Rebury. Oh, <laughs> 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 So that's all from our Champions League special, but remember to join us again for the moment we have all been waiting for. Since 1988, Ireland are back in the Euro Championships. So what do you expect from our boys in green? Go on, 110% you! Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, boy! Ah, you know yourself. So, thanks to our guests, Danny and Simon. Thanks. And join us for analysis of the European Championship in June. Good night. <laughs>